How's it going you guys? Today we are fishing the one and only beautiful Florida Skyway Bridge. It's an incredible bridge guys, super long bridge and it holds a lot of fish. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to catch mangrove snapper here. The easiest way to do it, the best ways to do it, and what not to do. First I'm going to go over the techniques, break it all down for you, the chumming, everything, and then we'll be going over just what I'm doing, how I'm feeling these fish out on the rod, and everything you need to know. So stay tuned you guys, and if you're new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It means a ton when you guys do, and I'll see you boys when we're catching some fish. Peace. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we're gonna do here is chum these guys up. We're gonna cut these little pilchards up. You can either catch them fresh or the cast net or just buy frozen. It really doesn't matter. The mangrove snapper are not that picky. And we're gonna cut them up into many different pieces for chum. So I like to just make three cuts, make the most out of every pilchard so we're not wasting. So I like to make a bunch of cuts in them, like so. Cut, 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 cut. And I'll use one whole bag of them for chum, guys. I'll have one chum bag and then one, I'll have a bunch of more bags just for me and cut them up a million times. And then you wanna grab a handful, guys, just like this, split it into two, and then start chumming. They start chumming in one spot. I know the, the current's coming from this way, so the tide's moving, so the water's moving like this, and all the fish are gonna push right there. And, as long, and if they're chum there too, oh, they're gonna hold there like none other, guys. So chumming is the way to go. All right, guys, and now for the setup, I got a 2,500 spinning reel. This might be a little undergun for this, but hey, I got 20 pound gold label leader on and a little 1 8 ounce jig head, guys. I like these, they're perfect for mangrove snapper fishing. You can weed your bait and have it sink slow. And I can always just grab the spool if the fish gets a little too hard. And it's a mangrove snapper fishing at the end of the day. If I lose something, it'd probably be a cat grouper up in here. So this is the setup, guys. 20 pound gold label leader to 30 pound braid. And then got the calico jack rod, which is rated at, it's an eight to 17 pound rod. So we're good to go, guys. Got this jig head and I'll show you what I do here. So basically I'll grab a few chunks, throw them in, and then I'll grab a chunk that I'm gonna use as bait and I'll put it on my jig head like so. Put like two little pieces on and then I'll, I'll do another throw and then I will toss my bait right in. And there was a bite, missed him. Happens to the best of us. Oh, oh there he was boys, came off, it is what it is. Not too mad, we know they're here. So as long as you know they're there, it's a good sign, guys. And obviously they're gonna be here, structure and a lot of current and a lot of chum. So we know they're here. And the water clarity right now is not crystal clear, which is good. Cause when it's crystal clear and fish can see really good, your success goes down. Got him. Oh my goodness, boys. Oh, hello. Got him. There we go, boys. First little mangrove of the day. I don't think he's keeper by any means, but we got one little chubby guy. So let's get back to it. Oh, f I didn't even see you. Pelican just tried to go for him, but he missed, thank God. Let's cut up some more chum so they do not lose interest. Oh, he's on it. Oh, too late, too late on that one. It's a bit windier than I thought it'd be, so it's a little bit harder to, oh, get those good bites. But, oh, there's one on it. Dude, got him. Oh yeah, the little guy. Little snapper, nothing too massive guys, but we definitely downgraded from the last one, but let him go quickly so that pelican doesn't think he's gonna get him. <laughs> Got him. Oh, that's a better one. Pulling some string on this one. Oh yeah, that is a better snapper, boys. There we go. Look at us go, guys. That's an upgrade. Good, we definitely want to be upgrading. He's probably keeper, probably about 10 inches or so. Not bad, but we ain't keeping him. I only keep snapper when they get a lot bigger because these ones don't really have the meat on them to make it worth my while, if you know what I mean. All right, buddy, move your little vampire fang. Oh, gill raker in my hand. All right, guys, there we have it. Nice snapper, let's let him go. Oh, not today, Pelican, not today, buddy. Hey guys, back to action. So basically what I'm doing is I'm letting my bait sink. I throw the chums in, and if I feel them grab it, like right there, I swing the bail and then set the hook like that. And that's how you get them. Oh, that one's actually pretty pissed. But about the same, well, a little bit smaller than the last one, but hey, no doinks. 
no absolute doink, which is good. We don't want those super tiny snappers, so we're making our way up in the world. The chump slick's going, and I'm getting harassed by pelicans, so hey. Just as you guys see, finger on the trigger, I let it sink. When I feel that fish tug as it sinks, that's when I'm gonna show him who's boss right now, which is the time to show him. Oh, I went way too slow on that one, guys. But yeah, guys, constantly, finger on the trigger, guys. Just remember that. Be ready to flip, switch, and set the hook. So I'm getting bit right now line stopped moving and they stole my stuff guys they stole my stuff yeah hey guys basically if i feel a bite and then they like completely lose interest i'm going to just recast it if i still got bait on there oh that's a good one yep that's a good one get away pelicans nope Let's hook them funny a little chubby guy but hey we stay on them boys a little chunker give him a chance to live oh there he is Oh, there's a good one. Oh yeah, there's a good one, boys. There we have a good one. Let's get him away from them. All right, bigger and bigger we go. Not a bad little inshore mangrove for sure, but we definitely want a lot bigger than him. Not bad, not bad. Getting the day started, not a bad fish at all, but we want a lot bigger than him. All right, these are also great bait, you guys, for mangrove snappers. This is a Mahara. Maharas work amazing for mangrove snapper. And they actually have better places you can hook them through. And I'm going to throw this whole one down and see if we get a big fish. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, boys. Right on the drop. There we go. Working our way up in the world. A little chubby guy. A little chubby guy per usual. Pelicans want him. Pelicans want him. See ya. And he escaped them. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh, it's got busted off. Oh, well, gonna lose some to win some, I guess. All right, boys, we just had a grouper bust us off, or either that or like a giant snapper, but I got my money on grouper. That's a good fish, guys. He's get him up, get him up. Oh yeah, that's a good snapper, boys. There we go. Camera just fell off my shoulder, but oh yeah, that's what we came for. Oh oh oh, chip 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 chip. There's a good snapper right there. Let him go. That would have definitely been a keeper snapper and he had some meat on him too, so solid fish. Let's get back to the grind. So yeah, guys, those big snapper come out when the chum's out. So basically the closer you get to the structure, the closer you get to the big snapper. So if your bait makes it to the bottom, consider yourself bit by a big one. Oh, that's a good one. Ah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Woo. Back in business. Let's slow down there for a second, but now we are back. Oh, he's rubbing me. Oh, that's a grouper. That was a grouper. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Damn. Freaking ripped the string out of me. Woo. Oh, it's a nice old white grunt. Look at that bycatch, guys. Little grunt. There we go, guys. Little grunt. Surprise, surprise. You want them? You want them? You ain't getting them. Bit them, bit them, bit them, bit them, bit them. Oh. Get out of there. I'll get you out. Oh, got him out of the hole. Oh, the big mang. That's a big mangrove, guys. He got me in the hole and I got him right out. That's a fat. Gonna give him a measure for sure. Look at that. Chubber. Just absolute belly on him, guys. Just like that. All right, guys, definitely a chubby little 12 inch mangrove snapper. We're gonna let him go. I usually keep mangroves with like 16 inches. I like keeping it big, let these guys go to grow. Nice mang, see ya, bud. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice little mang, back in the game. We got some of the people down there keeping that dolphin entertained, playing with them. So the bite returned, and you guys, look at that, look at that. Oh, oh. 
Just let them go. Yeah, guys, basically I downsized a smaller lead head and I kind of got this weird hooking method on them where I put the lead head right through the eyeball of the green back and then hide the hook like that. I mean, that's as hidden as literally it can get, guys. Literally as hidden as it can get. So let's see if it improves our odds. A tiny little lead head I had. Tiny little jig head. So let's see if that improves our odds. Got him. I know that dolphin somewhere, but here we go, guys, back in action. This dolphin has really messed up the bite. Not gonna lie, he ain't leaving. People are like feeding them, so. Note to yourselves, guys, don't feed dolphins ever. Do not feed them, ignore them, tell them you don't like them and they'll go away. But, yeah. Oh, Oh, a dolphin got my freaking. Dolphin got my snapper. Did I hook the dolphin? No, okay, phew. Whew, for a second there, guys, I literally thought I hooked a dolphin and I almost got really upset. That would have kind of ruined my day. All right, guys, I hope this video really helped you guys learn how to catch mangrove snapper and completely expanded your knowledge and helped you out. And we're fishing the one and only beautiful Skyway Pier, so it was a super fun day. The dolphins came by, about eight of them, and shut everything down on either side, everywhere. They're just following all the boats around. So that concludes this episode. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. It means a ton to me, guys, when you guys do that. It helps me on my journey a lot. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next week on the water. Peace.